All right, Harriet Tubman. Now, people got this Disney princess view of history that Harry Tubman's basically a pre-Oprah, this Earth Mother figure playing on all these tropes. That woman was a lot more like Malcolm X than she was like Martin Luther King. She had that gun with her everywhere she went, and she didn't just use it for protection from slave catchers, she also turned it on former slaves to make sure they didn't go back and risk the safety of the rest of the group. She gave drugs to babies and kids so that slave catchers wouldn't hear them. I mean, she was a real guerrilla fighter. This wasn't someone updating her Facebook and thinking, oh, she's a good person because of that due to all the likes. She was in the thick of things, including during war. She fought for the Union. She's a cook. She's a nurse. She becomes a soldier. She becomes a spy. She's the first black female leader of a raid to free slaves, and she wasn't even paid. She only got a pension after she married a former Union soldier. In our day and age, a lot of people act as if it's sufficient to express outrage on social media about something that makes them unhappy. So we're actually not that accustomed to this. Harriet Tubman doesn't fit into anything like that because she could have written articles and given speeches, and that would have made a lot of people feel good about themselves. But instead, she got her hands dirty, went out there, and helped specific people escape the evil she was opposing. This is a rebuke to all the armchair and keyboard warriors we have today. Yeah, you see this all the time on social media. Why do so many Americans have guns? More guns in private hands than every other country, blah, 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 blah. This isn't new. This has deep roots in American history. Back to people like Harriet Tubman, who are like, yeah, you all could sit at home, write your newspaper, The Liberator, all you want. I'm gonna do something about it. And the thing that allows me to do something about it, the thing that allows me to free other human beings from oppression, is my gun. This is a point, Michael, that I think it's very hard for some people to appreciate because they look at gun violence and they think guns have no redeeming qualities. But the fact is, when it comes to fighting against oppression, they are the great equalizer. It's what allowed a petite black woman to be able to stand up to the Confederacy and to the police of her time who were trying to catch slaves. The Second Amendment wasn't put in place so that people could have fun on the range. The Second Amendment was put in place as insurance, specifically in case the government got out of control.